This question, we will we have um, Warren charts. So these Warren charts can be used to support a uh, style case. So for these charts, we have um, two meter long cross members. That means all these members are two meter long. And there is a print point load at uh, A, C, E, G, I. So at these five joints. But at C, G, E, at C, E, G, the point load is P. But at support A and uh, at joint I, the, the, the loading is, is half of P. Okay, so this is the, the, the loading on the stair, on these truss members. And uh, the question is, we need to calculate the force in the member C, E. The force is member C, E. Okay, so this member. So, there we have two methods for these truss structures. The first method could be method of joint. So if we do method of joint to come out to the member force in CE, so we can either do analysis on joint C or on joint E. But if we do analysis on C and E, at joint C we have, we don't know the member force of AC, CB, CD. So we have too many unknown force. Similarly, at joint E, we don't know the member force EG, member force EF, and the member force ED. So we cannot use in method, method of joint. So it's too complex. So now we can use in the second method we can choose is method of sections. So if we do method of sections, we if we make a cutting, so make a cutting along here, so along or cut CE, cut CD, cut BD. And then if we do analysis on the on this part, so we then if we just we only have three member force. So one member force is FCE and uh, FCD and uh, FBD to determine. Okay, so now looks it looks like the member of section is easier. So now we can just use a master of section to solve this problem. So we make a cut at uh, here, C, E, C, D, and B, D. So after make a cutting, so if we do the analysis on the upper part of the upper part of the truss, so we need to determine, we need to derive the reaction force here. So at the joint I, at support I. So this, this is a roller support at joint I. So we have one reaction force we say is Ix, okay? So to solve the reactions, reaction force of X, we can just write down the equation, the moment equation of equilibrium at uh, support A, okay, equal to zero. If we write down the moment, moment equation of equilibrium at support A, we assume the positive direction is go clockwise. So at uh, support A, which which force have moment? First of all, the P over two they don't have moment. Second is P at joint C. P at joint C, the force is P and the lever arm is A B. So A B is two meter, so times two. And uh, this force, the moment is go clockwise, so it's positive. The second force is P at joint E. And P joint and the lever arm is 4 meter. The third force is go clockwise, so it's positive. And the third force is P at joint G. And uh, it's clockwise as well. It's positive and the lever arm is 6 meter. And the force is P over 2 at joint I. It's positive, clockwise, and the lever arm is 8. So we have P th uh, four force have moment at joint A. And also the reaction force Ix have, have moment at A as well. And we put it here Ix. And the lever arm, lever arm is Ih plus Gf plus Ed plus Cb. So one, two, three, four. Each are two meter long. So the lever arm is eight meters. Because the direction is go to counterclockwise. So it's negative equal to zero. So this is the 
more money equation of equilibrium at support A. So in this equation, we already have one unknown force that is Ix. So then we can solve this equation. Then Ix will be solved is 2p. Okay, so this is the reaction force Ix. So after we have this reaction force, then we can do analysis on this part of the truss and then we can solve the member force CE. So how to do that? So we move here. So we do analysis on this part. We have reaction force here. We are solved is just 2P and we need to know the member force FCE and also this member force we don't know. We need to draw on that. So this is member CD. So FCD and uh, this force this is member BD, so FBD, okay? When we do analysis on this part of truss, we can write down equation of equilibrium to solve FCE, okay? So which equation of equilibrium we can write down? So we have three unknown force, FCE, FCD, F FBD, and we find FCD and FBD go through one joint, one point, that is point D. So then we can write down moment equation of equilibrium at joint D. If we write down this moment equation of, equation of equilibrium, we don't need to consider FCD and FBD because they have zero moments at joint D. So if we write down the moment equation of equilibrium at joint D, we can assume either clockwise direction moment is positive or counterclockwise direction is positive. Here we assume clockwise direction is positive so then we can see which force have moment and joint D. First of all, the if we look at the force at joint E, they don't have moment of the at joint D because it goes through joint D. So this force has zero moment. And then look at this force have a moment, so it's P and the lever arm is EF. EF is two meter. Okay. So they go to clockwise direction, so it's positive. And uh, P over 2 have a moment, have positive moment as well. The lever arm is 4 meters. And then look at 2P. So 2P have moment, but it go to counterclockwise, so it's negative 2P. And the lever arm is IH plus GF plus ED, so is six meters times six meters and uh, look at at last look at fce fce have bending moment at the joint d so but the lever arm the lever arm is here so this is a lever arm so what how long is this lever arm so we needed to do analysis on this on this triangle okay so we know the this is 45 degree, it's showing here, so it's two so it's two meter, two meter. So all these angles are 45 degrees. So 45 degrees. So 45 degrees and then here is 45 degree. And we know ED, ED this ED is two meters. Okay, then we know this lever arm. So this lever arm is two meters times sine 45 degree. Okay, so this is lever arm. So after we know the lever arm of FCE, we can write down here. So FCE have bending moments at joint D, and uh, it's go to counterclockwise direction. The lever arm is two times sine forty five degree, and equal to zero. So once we have this equation, the only unknown force, unknown value, variable is FCE. So we can solve FCE is equal to negative four square root of two P. So this is the result of FCE. So in this question, the P is 500 Newton, 500 Newton. So we put P over here. So it's equal to times 500. If we evaluate this, we've got the result is about negative 2,800 
to it. Newt. And uh, the question here is the unit is kilonewton and uh, we only require three significant figures. So the final result will be 2.83 kilonewton. So this final result. So this is the member force in the in CE. Okay. That's all.